We have team coverage of those calls for justice. Alexa Ashwell has the frustrated father's perspective in just a moment. But we begin with Keith Daniels and the Baltimore County woman still looking for answers four months after she was attacked. Keith? Well, Kai, it was a quick arrest, and the cases are moving through the court system and the punishment for one suspect just given. But tonight, for the victim, the punishment doesn't seem to fit the crime. The juvenile himself did not seem to be remorseful at all. Tonight, Donna Talent knows the punishment given by the judge to one of the young suspects accused in her violent attack and carjacking. I don't think it's going to make an effect. Like, this is what I was telling you. This is a white woman. She's supposed to be, like, according to Black Twitter, according to any Black person you talk to, if you did that to a white woman, they will lynch you away. You gonna be hanging from a tree. Press one. How many y'all hear black people talk like that? If it was a white woman, they would have. The cops would have been coming out of helicopters. They'd have been scaling the walls to help her out. But a black woman is the most unprotected. We the most unprotected. If I was a white woman, the cops would have been coming out of manhole covers and coming out the vents to help me. They would have shut the whole thing down and they would have lynched the suspect immediately. This is a white woman. She's the least protected. Press one. And I know I'm going to piss y'all off. White women are the least protected. Press one. Doesn't seem to fit the crime. The juvenile himself did not seem to be remorseful at all. Tonight, Donna Talent knows the punishment given by the judge to one of the young suspects accused in her violent attack and carjacking. I don't think it's going to make an effect. I don't think it's going to have an effect on him. Surveillance pictures show the November... And just do the math. Do the math. Let me explain to you. Because I'm going to put a poll up. Pause. Let me explain to you. The majority of the criminals are black. Of course. The majority of the criminals are black. The criminals are getting light sentences now. The black criminals are getting light sentences, slaps on the wrist, diversion programs. Even when they are charged, they're getting bail, bond or personal recognizance released the next day. Many of the victims, many of these black criminals prey on soft targets. What's the softest target in the country? What's the softest target in the country? Is it an Umbrito man? Is it a black man? No, it's a woman. Is it a black woman? Sometimes, if you got a choice, if you're a fucking black criminal and you see a, two women sitting at, pumping gas at the gas station and you're looking to carjack somebody and one is fucking Boon Sheikah sitting there with fucking eight inch fucking fingernails and shit and big hoop earrings and 50 tattoos pumping gas. And at the next pump, there's Kirsten, a buck 20 pounds, 120 pounds, never been in a fight in her fucking life. Standing there oblivious to everything going on around. She don't even, she don't know nothing that's going on that's not going on right in front of her. Terrible self-awareness, no fucking um, situational awareness. Who you gonna target? Boom Sheikah or Kirsten? Target goals, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like white women are the most unprotected right now. Because most of the criminals are POCs and they looking for soft targets and white women. Most of the criminals are POCs and most of the targets are soft targets. 
and they're the softest of all targets. The softest. And, and listen, man, it's only going to get worse. There's no sanctuary coming. No sanctuary coming. Unless y'all do it. Because think about it. Women are the ones that do all that did all this woke shit. They're the ones that they're gonna have to fix this because their men can't fix it on their own. White men can't fix this on their own. They're gonna need the um the what do you call it? They're gonna need the um damn what's the word? Fuck. They're gonna need the go ahead or the from 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 white women to do it, but Gladys needs to fix this though. I... Yeah, definitely. I think I think white men have the um, they I think they they're ready to fix. It. I think white men are ready to fix. It. I think I think white men are ready to fix it, man. But I, I think white women are still on some woke shit. I think white women are still on some woke shit. And the punishment for one suspect just given, but tonight for the victim, the punishment doesn't seem to fit the crime. The juvenile himself did not seem to be remorseful at all. Tonight, Donna Talent knows the punishment given by the judge to one of the young suspects accused in her violent attack and carjacking. I don't think it's going to make an effect. I don't think it's going to have an effect on him. Surveillance pictures show the November night when two thieves beat the 72-year-old woman with a gun and stole a car from the backyard of her Baltimore County home. The suspects, 15 and 16 years old, caught by police the day after the attack. But it took weeks for her in White woman is brutally beaten up some young son this is this is what precipitated most lynchings we've already uncovered that here at op nation now other channels talking about uh the glory days man we was kings and shit and we was wearing top hats and suits all the time back in the day until welfare came here here we know that this is what precipitated. This was what happened before the majority of lynchings. The majority of lynchings happened because of this type of shit. Press one. Hit the like button. Support the channel. We don't have any supporters here. We don't have supporters like those other channels here. We don't get... We don't get big support like those other channels get here. That's crazy. Salute to um, Deluxe247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, a.k.a. the real MVP, coming through once again. This is what all those pictures of lynchings you see, this is what how it started. Oh, the suspects. 15 and 16 years old, caught by police the day after the attack. But it took weeks for her injuries to heal. Now the 15-year-old in juvenile court sentenced last week after being found guilty of the unauthorized use of a handgun. The string of other charges, including carjacking, were thrown out. No one could actually prove the 15-year-old was the car thief. He had the keys. He was seen getting out of my car. His phone was in my car, but yet they couldn't prove he stole my car because because he's a son. He gets the benefit of the doubt. So what? He had your keys and he was getting out of your car. So what? He has more privilege than you. The pendulum has swung. Yeah, this woke shit 
that's why I was telling them you you were around in 2019 and 2020 when I was telling these these people this right, Mark. This woke shit is going to get out of hand, and it's going to swing so far in the other direction that it's going to be whatever you thought white people had privilege at one time. Blacks are going to have way more privilege than that because they overcorrected. White people didn't have no privilege in 1980s when I was a kid. It wasn't white people chasing black people around. White people was terrified of black people in the 80s. White people were terrified to come in black neighborhoods. White people were polite. White people were nice. Looking at you hard. There was plenty of affirmative action in the 80s. Exactly. I, it was times where a lot of gliders, they used to be afraid. The only time they went to the hood, if they went to NJIT, Newark Rutgers, and got the fuck out. Salute the midlife reset. He said the migrants are not being brought in to replace gliders. They're being brought in to replace sons. Facts. That's Salute. true. That's definitely LT. true. LG says the seeds that grew strange fruit. Yeah, exactly. That's a great way to put it. Crimes like this and incidences like this are the seeds that grew strange fruit. I gotta take I gotta I gotta use that, man. I definitely gotta use that. His phone was in my car, but yet they couldn't prove that's the car thief. He had the keys, he was seen getting out of my car. His phone was in my car, but yet they couldn't prove he stole my car because they couldn't prove he was at my house. There was no way to prove he was here. I couldn't identify him. As a result, his sentence for the unauthorized use of a handgun, five months probation, one of which will be with an ankle monitor, 50 hours. <laughs> 50 hours of community service. I had community service before. Listen, man, I'm a son, man. I've been through all this stuff. A guy picked us up from some place. It was either a subway station or whatever. Some, some, either the probation office or some shit like that. We, we were supposed to go shovel snow. All of us, like seven, eight of us, in a van. We rode around all day and just fucking went to McDonald's, got coffee, got something to eat. And just hung out all day. And then that was seven hours. I had like I had like 14 hours or some shit. Like then the next day we did the same thing and they let us and then he signed our paperwork and then we were gone. And then another time we were supposed to clean up, it was like this ditch somewhere full of trash. That the first one was in PG County. This one was in DC. We, it was a ditch somewhere, and it was like a bunch of trash, like some kind of like o over in the, some project somewhere. And we had to go over there and clean it out. And they gave us like gloves and um, bags and little sticks, you know, to pick the trash up with. And we got over there. It took us like half the time to get over there. And it was over there for like an hour. And we picked up some trash, yada, yada, yada. And then it was like it was it was a bunch of us, and then like just bullshitting around and shit, talking and joking and shit, and then uh, he signed our paperwork for as many hours as it was, even though we didn't work that many hours. It was just like wow. they just they just signed signed off on everything, and then we took our paperwork back to our probation officers. It was like yeah, we completed this shit. This was back in the day, man. This was early two thousands, man. Um, these guys, these guys ain't gonna do nothing, man. That's community service is nothing. You, it, it's not community service. It's just sitting in a rec center somewhere for the day or some shit, like allegedly helping out the kids or some shit. It's bullshit. Picking up trash. You know how those guys in prison they pick up trash on the side of the road. That's yeah, they different. do. They That's do that in the highways no over here. That's not what you're going to be doing if you have community service. You're not going to be doing that shit. Those are prisoners. You're going to be doing like little bullshit shit. 
bullshit work, little um, side jobs and shit. His sentence for the unauthorized use of a handgun, five months probation, one of which will be with an ankle monitor, 50 hours of community service, and a curfew, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Talent calling his punishment a slap on the wrist. Because he took so much out of my life for three months. I had to go to therapy for dizziness because anytime I would look up for any length of time, I'd look up and the next thing I'm dizzy. Meanwhile, she waits for the court to hear the case of the second suspect. They've got to come down harder on these kids. If they don't get them now, they're going to be in jail again. Well, the or better yet, woke white woman, if they don't get him now, they're going to attack another white woman. See, she's still worried about their futures. You know what I'm saying? She's still worried about their futures. And that's the problem with, with women. They, they, that's the problem with women. That's why justice, that's why women can't fix this problem. They can only unhandcuff their men to do it. Right now, white women have white men handcuffed. They have white men handcuffed. White women need to release the handcuffs from white men so they can deal with this shit. Press one. Case of the second suspect. They've got to come down harder on these kids. If they don't get them now, they're going to be in jail again. Well, the 16-year-old is charged charged rather as an adult his trial is his case is set to go to trial in june but his attorney is fighting to get that case sent back to juvenile court a hearing on that matter is set for may we'll keep you posted we're live tonight keith daniel